Hi there. So in this video, we're going to uh, start configuring or deploying security management server. As I said in the previous video, a uh, security management server will be deployed inside VMware Workstation. Okay. And to do that, uh, I'll be using the the parameters. Uh, described in this document that I'll be sharing with you uh, as for the disk space and the IP addressing okay. so here the document says should have 80 gig of hard disk and 8 gig of RAM and you can see that here the Gaia specify is 8010, but I'll be using uh, R81 for this lab, so it should work just fine. And the most important for me here is the IP addressing, so this is what we'll be using uh, throughout the video series. Okay, so let's start deploying uh, our security management server. So, deploy a new virtual machine. Um, custom uh, I'll select the the checkpoint image this is R81 uh, the operating system here I just select Linux and kernel 64 uh, then I have type a descriptive name As the number of processors, uh, this can be one. So if you can afford more, add more. But for me, I'll just stick to one. So the RAM, there it said 8 gigs, but you can afford a little more. So just add 16. Uh, as the network, I'll use uh, host only networking. So this is, will be related to how you want to deploy, how do you want uh, your VMware uh, to interact with the, with the gateways inside EVNG. So in my case, I'll be using host-only networking, but I might change in the future in case I need uh, so the management server to access the internet or something else. But this you have to choose uh, according to your scenario. So I'll be using your host only. The control type, keep default, default. I'll create a new virtual hard disk and size of 8 gig. Just keep the default and this will be the hard disk name. And if everything is okay, uh, yeah, I just finger finish. Now I'm going to power on the server. Install, so let's install Guy on this system. Okay, now we can proceed. Let's select OK. And select the keyboard. Yes. For this part, uh, if you already know what you want, how much space you want for system root and for logs. You can customize, but I'll just leave the default. And if needed, we can change this uh, when needed. Press OK. Now I'm going to set the password. And the IP address of stand one one F one. And for the gateway, it's one. And it's going to install Gaia operating system. So this process will take a while. So I'll pause the video and return once it finished. This installation is complete. Now it's asking us to reboot the machine. And we'll proceed the configuration using the browser. So we have to access the address that we set 
uh, as the management interface. So I'm going to reboot the machine. Looks like the management server is up. So let's configure uh, the username is admin and the credential password is the one that we set it's going to show up the first time wizard configuration first time configuration wizard okay. continue with r81 installation uh, just check if the ip is correct to set the host name and i'll set um, management actually and just call sms and the optional check check point lab just check point lab .com. yeah that's okay and my dns uh let us see it's going to be my DNS, it's going to be 11101. Okay, so it's going to be 2168 We could configure this later, so that's not a problem. We just want to get some job done ahead. Uh, this is not mandatory. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to configure the gateway or the management here we just select security management and we set as the primary proceed with next and we use the same admin so it means that the admin uh, username and password will be the same uh, for for smart console and we permit access from any IP address and we're good to go i'll pause the video and once it finishes we are going to continue so uh right now the installation failed because uh the management server it has a requirement of at least two cpus oh, this is new okay so we're going to add one cpu and continue this in another time so probably i have to shut down management server let's add one more cpu number processor two and i think that's it well let's power on and it's going to boot again and we'll continue on our uh on our host should be okay to proceed uh, i think that's okay right now okay we have installed uh security management server and now we're going to download smart console uh, smart console is the software used to actually manage the security management server okay yes run so the process installation is very straightforward quite simple it's like you're installing any other software on windows <laughs> Yeah, let's set that. Uh, agree, and then next, and that's it. Now we can launch Smart Console. Oh, there is something. I shouldn't click on. Okay, so the username is the same as we're using for uh, Gaia Portal, as well as the password. So. And uh, here we have to type our security management IP address, and I believe that's 11101. Right there, and we're going to connect to server. So the first time we connect to server, it's going to print us this fingerprint. 
okay we just have to accept and proceed okay and this is the welcome page uh, some new features and this kind of things blah 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 yeah, we don't need that and no this is it so one thing that you might notice is the license title is not activated so we're going to download a license for this later on but for now we're going to move on and deploy uh, the gateways we're going to install the gateways as well and then we're going to download the license so for the management server this is it and we're going to continue in the next one